so man, what a weekend. Um, you've waited so been. long to be a cup driver. So yep. what, 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 are, what are the feelings right now? Man, it, I'm, I'm excited I finally got to practice. Mm -hmm. So it, it feels like the past couple of days, all we've done is, is talked about, you know, mm -hmm. getting to, to drive the cup cars. And, and I've talked to a couple of different drivers, a couple of my friends, and some of them are like, well, it's easier to drive than an Xfinity car. Some are like, it's way harder. So um, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect when I got mm -hmm. in today. But, uh, you know, missing practice and qualifying, you know, really kind of, I wish we'd have had that extra time, but you know, it is what it is. So we made the most of our practice today with our little penalty we had there. We mm -hmm. lost 15 minutes of practice time, but it is what it is. I think I learned pretty quick. Um, still got some adjustments to make to the car that I think will make it better for the race. Mm -hmm. So, um, but overall, I mean, I'm just pumped to be here. So which one's tougher? Okay. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily, one's tougher than the other, they're, they're different. So these cars have a lot more horsepower. So. Um, sure. You have to manage the throttle a lot a bit a, lot, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, so far, we're not perfectly handling. So mm -hmm. I, uh, right now, I'd say it's probably a little tougher to handle. Um, but it's just a different kind of uh, feel. But mm -hmm. uh, overall, I, I, it's a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, you've seen so many of these tracks, pretty much all of them. Would you th would you say a tougher racetrack with such an old surface, bumpy, grimy? Would you say this is a good place to really test your ability for your first cup race, as opposed to like maybe like an, an easier if that if that yeah makes sense? no I, yeah definitely it's definitely a place to test my abilities. This mm -hmm. is one of the toughest places we go to. Um, you know, the first couple laps you feel like Superman. You know, you got all the grip in the world, and then it's like three laps later you're just like fighting it for all you you know for all you got um and i feel like in the cup car you feel a, a little bit more just because you have that much more horsepower you can burn the tires off that much quicker mm -hmm. um so i think managing the throttle um is going to be a really big factor on sunday um so i just have to kind of keep that in mind mm -hmm. how this come together like it, it was pretty much a, a surprise for a lot of people to see your name just randomly pop up for race yeah. number two so how this come together was it a full off season type of deal or uh, no not necessarily you know we we talked to rick uh there at the end of last year about doing some cup stuff maybe um you know starting making my debut last year um but i still had commitments i was uh, committed to johnny davis um as far as bringing uh monetary stuff there mm -hmm. so it didn't really um fall into the plans there but for now they, he's full over there and, and there was an opportunity over here so um actually about two weeks ago is when it all came together rick needed uh, he needed an associate sponsor and i was able to get one um um, industrial construction experts out of Sanford. They're kind enough to come on and help us out, so it, it came along pretty quick. Yeah. Did you think that this would never happen? Um, you know, I, I thought it would happen eventually. Um, we, we've kind of had a little bit of a, a rough road, hadn't been in, you know, rides that have ne necessarily been capable of winning. So, um, you know, really looking forward to just make the most out of what I got, um, take care of the car, get out there, mm -hmm. and, and uh, just show what I can do. Having to wait as long as you had to wait, you know, 80-something Xfinity starts. Yeah. Th do you think that that makes you appreciate it more than most kids who, you know, perhaps they go through a, a full Xfinity season, then they jump right the cup? You had to wait years and years. Yeah, because. I mean, I, I think I appreciate driving in NASCAR more than most people in general. You know, um, you know, I went to NC State and got a, a degree there in business, and I spend a lot of my time actually searching for the sponsors myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, no hard feelings to any of the guys in this series are Xfinity, but a lot of the guys that are in these series didn't have to work as hard as I did to get here, uh, whether it be, you know, family money or, or just kind of being in the sport already kind of had the opportunity. So, um, you know, if I was in their position, I'd be I'd be happy to accept it as well. But I definitely very much appreciate what, where I'm at and, and how much effort it took to get here. Um, my parents have helped me an enormous amount. I wouldn't be able to be here without my dad's support and, and my mom's. Um, so man, I, I definitely appreciate where I'm at and, yeah. and gonna make the most out of it. Mm -hmm. And one positive is that is that you come in with so much experience. You know, you were with JD for a long time, multiple right. other teams. What do you feel like you learned most? You know, perhaps with JD or just the Xfinity series that you can apply best to a cup race. Um, I think mostly just I have experience pretty much every track. Yeah. Um, that's nice when you don't have to go to a place for the first time. So you know, I didn't have to come. I've been. I, this is my fourth race here, so I, I know the track pretty well. I'd say the biggest thing is just experience at these tracks. Um, if I had been here once before, I probably wouldn't know as much to, to get on here. But but everything's kind of going smooth just because I, I, I had advice to lean on as far mm -hmm. as people for the cars, and I knew the track. So um, mm -hmm. my learning curve was able to be sped up a little bit. Yeah. As it stands right now, what are your plans for 2018? <laughs> so right now, this is just a, this is just a one race deal at the moment. Mm -hmm. and hopefully we're uh, talk after this race, see how mm -hmm. it goes, and hopefully we can put together some more deals. Um, if, you know, sponsorship depending. Uh, that's kind of the name of the game now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the sponsors and, and how much it costs to be here. So everybody's got to work together. So uh, I'm sure Rick will do his part, and I'll do my part, and hopefully we can uh, 
come together and, and right. put some more races on the schedule. All right, so for Cup, it's you know just a race by race type of deal. Starts with this one. Yep. How is it like to drive? Like I don't know if, how many times you've been in a position where you got one race and then that might be it. You know, it just all depends mm -hmm. on on how everything pans out. So when it comes to that in the Cup series, you know, how how is that really settling in your head right now? Yeah, I, to be honest with you, I. Let's see, this will be my sixth year of racing. I've only had two years where I knew I was going to be driving the whole year, and I still didn't get to drive every race those years. A couple guys came in with money and bought out the road courses or whatever it would be. So, yeah. so uh, it's really nothing different, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Every single time I've been at the track, I feel like uh, i got to go out there and, and do what I can, you know, not make a fool of myself, get mm -hmm. every single bit out of the car, uh, mark it well. So kind of just do everything. Every single time, it feels like a test to me. Mm -hmm. So I've never really just sat down and been comfortable. Uh, which I don't think is a bad thing because you know you you appreciate your opportunities even more. You make the most out of them and and, and uh, you go out there and, and really try your best to perform every single time. Yeah. Are you just focused on getting with this 51 team here, or are you perhaps looking at Xfinity? You know, whatever what comes up there. Or are you solely focused on this? Yeah. Are you, I mean, th are you thinking like that? No. I mean, I'm I'm not closed off to anything. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if somebody offers me an opportunity in Xfinity or, or a truck or whatever it may be. Um, I'd love to explore that, but you know, I, for now, I, lo I love being here on the Cup side. Mm -hmm. um, I love Rick and his family and everybody that's working for him. I think they're they're great. So for him to give me this opportunity is awesome. As far as selling sponsorship, I think it's a little a little easier over here because mm -hmm. people are a little bit more familiar with the Cup Series. So you know, ultimately, I want to be here every week. So mm -hmm. uh, if I can, then this is where I'll be. Yeah. What do you think your biggest challenge is going to be in a Cup race? Um, I think the biggest challenge. Um, or just not necessarily the biggest challenge, but the thing that's going to be the biggest difference, because I've raced against most of these guys mm -hmm. in the Xfinity Series, but uh, the fact that it's 500 miles, you know, mm -hmm. I think I can handle it. Um, I'm not usually exhausted after Xfinity races or anything, so I think that's going to be the biggest difference is, mm -hmm. is how much longer the races are. But overall, like I said, just being able to manage the throttle in these cars for that long a time mm -hmm. and uh, not wear myself out with the car. Yeah. Final question. You know, we talked about, you know, expectations and plans, but realistically what are your hopes for 2018 now you said it comes down to just runway steals just seeing how it goes but yeah, when it comes to realistic hopes you know what would you obviously you would hope for a full season but right, yeah, I mean, now that's at, the hope yeah look at looking realistically you know what do you feel like is really on the table for you yeah so i mean i mean kind of what i'm what i'm hoping to see and i'm, I'm hoping to see uh, this opportunity here go well and, and maybe a couple other here pretty soon and we're always working to get partners on this car mm -hmm. so so, you know, eventually I'd like to see somebody step up to the plate and be able to sponsor us full time and, and really see the value in this series um, and sponsoring a car. So um, just I think a realistic goal is to go out here today or tomorrow and do well. And hopefully in the next couple starts, do the same thing. And then and hopefully that'll lead to a, a full time position. Are you looking at the West Coast swing? Um, not at the moment, mm -hmm. but uh, it's definitely on the table. Yeah, absolutely. Thank we appreciate your time. Yeah. Yeah. Best of luck this week. Yeah, thank you.